Hi, in this video I'll show you how to split the design system and the design file into two separate files. So let's imagine that uh, you have one big file that you were working on with uh, different pages and uh, you have a design system in the same file. So you were working only in one file and it was fine for you, but uh, now the file has grown so big that you want to split it into two separate files and uh, maybe create additional files. So you want to have your design system in a separate file and uh, you want to have other files connected to this design system. How to do this and not to break all the connections that you already have. Uh, for example, in uh, this file I already have all my connections to the design system. So if I click for example on the button, it is connected to the button in this design system. So I want to split it, but I want to keep all the connections. And in this video, we are going to explore how to do this. I've chosen as the example the um, file with the uh, e-commerce design, and it's actually an awesome resource because I've prepared it for you. Um, so you can save time on designing uh, your own e-commerce. And it's uh, not only a high quality uh, design file, but also I've collected uh, all publicly available information about large scale usability testing and I have translated it into the design solution. So uh, all the design decisions that are made there, uh, they are based on the research insights and on large usability uh, testing. Uh, for example, if we go to cart and checkout and uh, here I am referencing uh, all my design solutions and I am explaining uh, why I've made uh, this decision, why I've made uh, this decision and so on. Uh, so you could actually um, buy this for a pretty low price and just start charging your clients uh, much higher for these valuable insights. Uh, but anyway, uh, now let's return to our design system. So in order to split the file into two, uh, we need to do a trick. Uh, we need to create, of course, the empty file and let's do it now. Uh, first, uh, we make sure that uh, our files are in one project. So this file should not be in drafts, like this file should not be here, but it has to be in the project and it has to be in the paid uh, Figma team. Because if it's free, then uh, mm, you cannot really publish the design library in separate files and it's better for you to keep everything in one file. Uh, so we have our uh, paid uh, Figma project and we have our uh, file here. Here we create another file where we, trans uh, where we transfer all other elements and uh, for now I will call it just uh, design transfer. So what is the trick? The trick is that I don't have to transfer the design system to a new file because this will break all the connections. But I have to transfer uh, my designs into the new file, not the design system, but designs. And how I do this? First I go and I just publish the library. So I have already like all my assets, like in the design system. Um, I have a lot of assets here and uh, I have also the styles here. So if I start to transfer the design system into separate files, then I have to relink all the styles that I don't want to do. So what I do, I just publish uh, this file as the design system. And now let's call it not e-commerce, but e-commerce design system. Yes, now I'm ready to publish and uh, I will do so. Publish and let's publish everything. And as long as there are a lot of uh, things to publish, it will take a while. So we'll wait for a little bit. All right, so now it is published and I can connect my design system to a new file. So I go here to assets, uh, go here, and I choose my uh, e-commerce design system that I want to connect to this file. And everything else is uh, easy peasy. So we have our pages here and we just start copy everything to the new file. So I have navigation here. Um, I go to navigation, go comment C and comment V. Uh, let's uh, copy also product card. No, product part will uh, 
uh, will stay in the design system because it's actually a component so uh, here like it's like very uh, responsive uh, product card so not this version but this version this is the disconnected component uh, so I want to leave it here and I'll just start to copy all others for example home page and category page uh, copy the name and copy everything that was there uh, and so on once I've copied it there I can just remove it so uh, delete page here and uh, so on I will repeat everything uh, to the rest of the pages and uh, when I've copied it let's uh, check that all the connections stayed so we have our product card and uh, let's just make sure that it is connected to the design system I go here and I'm back to my product card uh, let's find a button for example this one uh, this one was actually not a component all right uh, then let's find another component for example a text button so uh, I have a text button here let's check yes I am back to my text button so now let's just uh, transfer all other pages and uh, I will cut this part for you so uh, it is faster I've actually decided to keep the navigation in the design system so I keep the navigation here and uh, I will uh, delete everything that uh, was there uh, because the navigation should also be the part of the design system so navigation will stay here and I will transfer only these pages like product list page product details page I will transfer everything to the new file so now I've transferred everything to the new file uh, let's delete all the pages that I've transferred because we don't need them anymore here and uh, let's say that here I also have the uh, insights based on the research that uh, I was uh, telling you about I will probably also transfer them uh, to the new file so they are here we can also delete them uh, here so now we have our design system here and let's first make sure that everything is working uh, let's go to cart and check out and let's find this button check out securely button goes to button um, let's try something else for example an icon icon goes to icon that's correct um, let's try the payment icon yes so everything is working here and um, that's all fine uh, let's also try the styles so I have styles here um, font normal let's try to change it go to style definition let's go and we are back to our design system because all the styles are here and let's check same for colors colors are also there let's try to change it go to style definition we are back to our design system so now we transferred everything it was quite fast but now we also want to split uh, the design system to separate pages and how to do this uh, here is the trick uh, if you start transferring uh, these components by command c command v you will break all the links uh, let me show you for example i want uh, to transfer a button to a separate page uh, so I'll go here copy the page um, paste it here i have a new component okay i delete it here because i don't need it anymore and let's try if we have this button uh, link as we did before uh, so here is the button i go to main component and as you can see I am back nowhere so I had my buttons here but I've deleted them so they are not connected to this uh, thing that I've copied how to fix it uh, let's go back and actually um, return uh, these buttons and we will delete um, the copy file uh, it's actually very easy so I just have to not copy but cut so command X and command V now I've pasted my component from this page 
uh, to this page and links should work uh, as before let's try uh, here i have my button and uh, let's try to go to the design system as you can see i am back to the um, button that is now on the separate page uh, let's try once again i go to welcome and uh, i'll try to go to the button yes it is transferring me back to the button so every time i want to transfer a component to a new page for example i want to have an uh, input page also uh, i have to cut the page and not copy it and delete the original so when i cut and paste then i have all my original components in the new in the new place uh, so that's actually it you would just continue to transfer all the design system elements to the uh, separate pages like drop downs date and time input passwords and so on so you just create a bunch of uh, different pages and you cut uh, the components from the common place and you passed it there so easy peasy uh, thank you and uh, give this video a like if you like it and uh, don't forget to subscribe because here you could find a lot of useful and free information for designers bye